Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher with Citadel Defense, and uh, today I wanted to talk about being the hero. <clears throat> uh, coronavirus mayhem is going on right now when I'm filming this, and uh, a lot of people are out panic buying guns, which is great, uh, good for you, because a lot of people, who, of course, who have never used or owned guns before and now want a gun to protect themselves, which is which is great. That's what guns are for. And I've read a couple articles, seen a bunch of tweets about people saying, well, you know, who, you, why would you buy a gun? It won't make you safer. It'll make you, it'll put your life in more danger. And it's not helpful. And it's not going to do anything. And on and on and on. Which is all, of course, untrue. And obviously the common person knows that. That's why they're out buying guns. But the thing that I thought was the most interesting, or at least deserved the most discussion, was this idea that uh, you can't be the hero. It, it was this, it's, a lot of these tweets and stories that I've read um, have this general mocking tone of who are you to think that you could be a hero and you're gonna save your family and you're gonna protect everybody with your gun. Uh, and it's this kind of high-minded, I sneer at this idea of heroism and I deride you for thinking that you could somehow be the hero or somehow save people. Uh, I guess I think that's interesting for a couple things. One, um, I, I wonder when it became unfashionable to desire to be heroic. When did when did that happen? I, I don't know. I, I guess somewhere pretty recently in the past, like ten or twenty years, where at least on the extreme left, it, it became it became derided and it became something that is to be mocked and sneered at and and just uh, treated like some kind of boyish childhood fantasy that doesn't have any place in the real world. However, throughout history, all societies that I know of have embraced uh, and supported and held up heroism as a trait that's valuable, that that's a noble trait, that's something to be pursued, that of course we want you to be heroic and do heroic things and seek to be the hero because those societies uh, obviously need people to do heroic things in order to continue to exist. Uh, namely, protect them from other societies, correct? So, I find this whole sneering at heroism thing really interesting. Uh, one, just from a kind of, kind of anthropological viewpoint, but two, from a much more personal point, if it was you or your wife or your kid that was trapped inside some area with a mass shooter and I was on the outside of that building and I had the requisite skill set and equipment to go in there and solve that problem and bring them out alive, wouldn't you want me to do that? Vice versa, right? I mean, if it was my kid in there and you had the requisite equipment and skill set, wouldn't I want you to go in there and save them? I mean, the answer is, is of course yes. Of course we want that. That's why we, we, we still do hold up heroism in a lot of different contexts, right? Uh, we treat firemen as heroes because they risk their own lives to go into burning buildings to pull you out of them. Uh, or good police officers who, again, enter those situations in order to bring people out alive. Uh, th these are heroic things. I think I tend to define a hero as someone who would risk their lives um, for someone else or someone who is willing to pay the cost so that others won't have to. Uh, th those are kind of what I think of as heroic things. So what I want to tell you is be the hero. Uh, desire to be the hero. I don't see anything wrong with that. I, I don't understand why it's a bad thing that should be derided to want to be heroic. I want you to get in there. I want you to problem solve it. Part of the reason I teach people how to shoot guns is because I hope that someday they're in a good position where they can be the hero, where they can stop someone from killing other people and thereby save many, right? That, that's what we want. We want people to be heroes. I want to live in a nation of heroes, uh, home of the brave, right? So be the hero, get in there, problem solve that situation, and don't ever let anybody deride you or sneer at you for your desire to be heroic. Uh, the desire to protect and to be heroic is a good desire. Yeah, sure, we, we can get off the rails with it a little bit, but you can do that with anything. Uh, but the base core desire of desiring to protect people and be heroic and save people, that's a good thing. And I'm going to support that all day long. Do brave deeds and endure.